Hey, what's up everybody? It's your boy Epic Pain here with another Elite Dangerous video and we are on a planet. I've done a little bit of flying since we last played just to get this long journey kind of done and out of the way. It ended up being about 30 jumps from my location that we were at before. But here we have a Guardian site. So I would like to get out here and do the guardian mission part that way there we can actually get a guardian fsd booster now it's been a while since i've done it we have our srv so we're going to go ahead and we're going to deploy our srv out of our srv bay all right so for ease of use we are going to go ahead and we are going to turn on night vision i just find it helps so whenever you launch out of your SRV, you'll notice we'll drive a, a little bit away. It is the back of the ship. So sometimes it can get confusing because I always used to think that it went out on the front of the ship. But as you can see, there's a, a ship leg right there. So it wouldn't make much sense to basically put, a, put you on a collision course. So we are going to put more power into weapons and more power into systems because we are going to have a couple surprises along the way when we do this. Now, this might take a little bit longer than the half an hour, and if it does, I do apologize. But like all of my Elite Dangerous videos, they always seem to take a little bit longer than the hour. So, the thing you're gonna notice is when you start doing these missions, see there's Guardian Sentinels. Now, I forget. Oh, handbrake is on. Okay, so what is combat mode activated? We got him highlighted. Let's take him out. Now, he is going to fire a missile at me. And this always happens. So we're going to try not to die. But right now, we're not off to a very good start. So, thing is, is it doesn't get any easier from here. This is actually kind of the easiest part, believe it or not, because we only have one of them to deal with. Wait till we get to the point where I believe we have two or three. So he's down. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to... I gotta remember, it's been a long time since I've driven an SRV, so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna figure out, we're gonna put the cargo scoop down, cause we might as well grab some of this stuff. Okay. What is this over here? Guardian power conduit. I'm always turning the handbrake on. This is crazy. So this is going to be turret mode, which is almost a little easier. I forgot how to activate it when we were fighting that sentinel. So now we know how to do it. So we'll make sure we do it next time. We're going to go ahead and we're going to gather this up. Now, the thing is, is when you're doing these missions is you have to be... Things are going to pop up out of the ground and you're going to have to charge them up using your guns. But we're not at that stage yet. I thought that was... What are boosters? Okay, so... I have to remember what my boosters are. Because we're definitely going to want the boosters. What are boosters? Why can't I... Okay, well, 
I will be right back. So foolish me, the reason my thrusters weren't working was because I didn't put, have any power into engines. So they were just worn out. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our time. We're gonna kind of drive around before we actually start the main part and we're gonna destroy some of these sentinels because I know a couple things are gonna start spawning over this direction and I'd like to try and take these guardian sentinels out Bell. So we are at 93% on our hull. Luckily, we can repair ourselves if we have stuff, but I don't think we really have anything that we can actually use to repair right now. We're putting everything we got into engines just so we can get rid of this sentinel real quick, or sorry, into weapons. And then we will redo that. Okay, so. We're getting there, we're getting there. Drop our cargo scoop again. Now, there should actually be up around here as well. You don't know far enough over. So I believe there's five in total that I have to something come out of the ground but I guess not so we definitely need an ancient relic we'll go and pick this up oh he's right beside me Let's turn this back around. funny because we're actually not doing as bad as what I did the first time I did this so things are looking up but we still haven't actually started the main part of the mission yet but we gotta find here's one right here this has to be one why isn't it coming up though that has to be one right Keeping an eye on our radar to make sure some sentinels don't show up. I could have sworn this is how you do it. Maybe I'm messing something up. I don't know. Okay, so let's carry on going this way.
I'm hoping this is the right site. Oh, there's another sentinel over here. Get him before he launches his missile. Come on, come on, come on. Almost there, almost there. He's done. Now, I'm hoping. I don't... I'm really confused. I don't know if this is an actual site where I can get some stuff. It should be because there's the main structure right there so according to that being there there should be one over here to activate should have been There's usually one here. Oh, this is not going very good at all. the thrusters to our advantage. Okay, so that's what we're looking for. So there's one and two and now we're gonna have Yeah. So let's go this way. Oops, wrong way. Have I mentioned that it's been a long time since I've actually piloted an SRV? Yeah, incoming missile. I know, we're about to get our bell rocked here, guys. Oh, we are so gonna get rocked. We're gonna have to get out of here. Come on, come on. Here we go. Oh. Get away. We need to let our shields heal up. Put more power into shields. He's like right behind us. Okay. It's turning into quite the episode. Before he launches his missile, but we're underground or under a little bit of a alcove. Okay, so there's the two of them. Now we have to get, I believe it's five in total, so there should be one. Sometimes they're right down here by it.
I just, I like to get them all raised before I start shooting them because once you start charging them, things happen pretty fast. Okay, so there's... Now, why is that like that? That is totally glitched. So anyways, one, two, three. And I, I want to say there's five in total. Might be more than that, though. Where's that other one that we found? So there's generally one right across from the two. You know, I've done this so many times over and I've never had an issue, but of course the one time when I'm actually filming myself doing it, I can't seem to get my bearings straight. See, there we go. So maybe I just have to stay parked in front of it for a minute. You know what I mean? So there's another one. Now. Yes, I know. But I don't have anything to repair myself. Okay, I am not having a fun time right now. Okay, so there's the main structure, okay? There's usually one right here, and I, for the life of me, I can't see it. charge up here, two up there, and then one over there. Maybe it's just those ones, but it's always been more than that. I think there's one actually right here. No, that's that. Oh. Okay, so there's one there. And then the next one should be, I believe, right across from it. So if we go this way. Which, maybe it's that one. Okay. So. 
I'm so confused right now. Generally, this is a lot. Like I said, I've done this multiple times and I've never had an issue finding these things. I'm not really sure what's going on. Maybe it's because I'm tired, but... So there's one there. Let's just go ahead and we're going to start activating these. And hopefully we can actually find them. one charged up now the time is on now we have six minutes to get all of them charged up and ready to go and it's not going to keep helping if we keep hitting things with our srv because our srv is on its like last legs right now okay so there's one there We got eight minutes. Okay, so the other pylon is over here and it's like floating. Maybe it's just the five. I don't know. I can't remember. The crappy part is, is I know we're going to have a bit of a fight to do after this. And I don't know if our SRV is going to have enough oomph to get us through the fight. You know what I mean? So, we got to hope that I'm wrong and that we don't have to fight. not having a good time. Okay. So, there is still going to be one more left, I believe. Which should be right in front of us, but it's not, because it's so one, or maybe it's going to be down here. God, I don't know if I charged that one. No, I don't think I did charge this one, but this might be a bit of a blessing in disguise. Because if we're able to charge this one, and, and this is like the last one, we won't be right out in the middle. We can actually... Yeah, yeah. Oh my god. Four? Oh, we're so gonna die. We are not surviving this. I'm telling you right now. Yep. Look at them. They're already shooting at us. Oh my gosh. Okay. Just try and shoot them from a distance. Target destroyed. Okay, we might have a chance. We might have a chance.
Just slow and steady, slow and steady, slow and steady. A little bit faster. Okay. Let's let our shields shields come up a bit. We're not under a time limit, so we can do this. We can do this. So there's a guardian sentinel right there. And then the other one is over there. And I don't think we can really hit either one of them from where we're at. So that means we're going to have to move up. Okay. Let's go after this guy first. Let's see if we can get over here. I want to see if we can try and stay undercover a little bit from their missiles. We might actually be able to pull this off, and if we can, this would be amazing. We've only got 471 rounds left for the repeater. Shields are at 69%. Let's get him before he launches a missile. Okay, so there's another one down. So we got this guy over here. Let's let the systems recharge. We've got 371, so that took 100 rounds. I think we can do this. Oh. Come on, come on, come on. We're almost there, boys. Come on, come on. Seventy-three percent shields, and he's done. Ooh, I did not think we were gonna pull that off, guys. I really did not think we were gonna pull that off. Took us a little bit longer than I would have liked, but oh, I was trying to actually pick that stuff up while we're here. So now, let's go ahead and let's just get this part done. Because we are at 16% health, so we don't want to risk it. Just going to drive up nice and easy. There we go. Because we are seriously, we're, we're in a hurt locker, especially if we die right now. So we're going to drive forward. We're gonna, whoo, up. Now, I believe it's the relic that we need. I really hope so. Otherwise, we've done all this for nothing. Now. go this should hopefully give us a module blueprint which will allow us to buy the guardian fsd booster which will help us get a little bit more range out of our frame shift drive which would be awesome oh wait do i have to oh i gotta scan this don't i I keep forgetting these things. Like I said, it's been a while since I've done this. What I would like to do is eventually come through and do a bunch of the weapon stuff too. So, data guardian. Oh, oh, oh. They are all of us. Okay. So, what we're going to do is we're just going to go up and over this embankment gently. Nope, nope, that is not gentle. That is not gentle at all. Oh, gosh. We are screwed. I forgot that they send more after you. Oh, yeah. I just want to get off this bumpy hill terrain, because what we can do is we can dismiss our ship, and then we can just call it back later to wherever we are.
Let's keep getting away from them. So this has been kind of an exciting episode, I guess. We almost blew up a couple of times. Oh, yeah, that's not good. That is not good. We gotta drive a lot better. So let's go ahead and we're going to recall or dismiss the ship. And we're gonna get kind of farther away from these guys before we go ahead and call the ship back, but I'm not gonna get too, too crazy. Try and recall the ship now. Okay. Let's just wait to see where the ship comes from because we're at 4%. So we are really gonna be screwed and they are still coming after us. There's a ship down below, or up above us. Right there, so he's going that way. Let's go that way with him. Oh, really? we get into the ship then at least we have full health and we can get out of here Woo! boarding the ship right now missiles coming in but the ship's shields should be able to handle the missile attack hopefully I do have a small shield on this ship it's not really big and let's just bounce let's say see you later to the guardian sentinels yep there it goes Took a bit of a missile hit, but hey, we have the blueprint. Now the hard part is we cannot get the Guardian FSD quite yet. So we A, have to find a station that sells them, and B, I have to look to figure out what components we still need to make the Guardian frameshift drive or the Guardian booster actually accessible to us. Just figured I'd do a quick little video to show us getting it. I don't know how quick it actually was. I don't think it was that quick. But we got what we came here for. And I think I'm going to call that a, an episode. Again, I'm not sure how long it is. I think it was long enough to at least get what we needed out of it. And we are going to Let's go find another landing spot on this planet. We're not gonna land at the Guardian site because that would just be foolish. Let's just go ahead and we're gonna come down and we're going to glide onto the planet and find a nice spot to land. Hopefully we're far enough away. I mean, I think the Guardian site's over that way quite a ways. So we're gonna come over this way and find a nice spot to land. Boosters. Been lots of sirens at my pl around uh, where I live today. Now I can't remember. Yeah, so as soon as you dock, you'll see that the hull and the shield are back up to a hundred percent, which is great. On one of these days that I play Elite, I'm going to go ahead and do a bunch of material grinding. Then we'll have enough enough material that we can actually refuel the SRV and stuff like that. And we'll be able to heal it as well when we run into issues like that again if we do. It's pretty dark. I don't think I have my night vision on. Whoa. Well, I'm pretty close to the ground, aren't I? Go ahead and. Whoa! No, I didn't mean to turn on silent running.
We gotta be really careful because we have no uh, no shields on right now. So let's uh, level it out. Go this way. Alignment's okay. Yeah, it's unsuitable terrain. Let's go over this way. There we go. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that is where we're going to leave tonight's episode of Elite Dangerous off. Hope you guys had fun. It was a little stressful for me, but still fun nonetheless. Until next time, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe for more content, and comment down below what you thought about this episode. I will talk to you guys later. Oh, there goes my shields reactivating. Have a good one.